feel like a male uh, late 40s, early 50s is where he's putting me quite the talker. I just need to talk about, like, this gentleman would just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. It, I almost feel like this person is very comfortable in their skin, does not care what people think about himself. He's, like, over six feet. He's pretty tall, but he shows himself very skinny. I do see himself uh, being very thin, kind of oblong face. I do get curly, dark hair is where I'm being brought to. I would say he would have some sort of widow's peak to his hair. Uh, and he does make me feel like he would have passed from some cancer or something that would have eaten him alive in the inside. Because I definitely feel like this gentleman um, would have been very, very skinny and very ill. Very, very ill towards the end. Uh, and I get this feeling with him that just like he keeps showing me himself in the hospital bed saying goodbye. And I keep seeing like his breathing patterns being very like... <sighs> Like, his body's working overtime is where he's bringing me. Um, so if you can understand this, I feel like I can bring this person up into my chat. So if you know who this is, do me a fa favor, send a guest request up. I, I should have listened to him. He's like, she can go live. She can go live. She can go live. <laughs> You're good. All right. Do you understand the 12 connected to your, is this your dad? No, this is my, but he was like, he was around a lot. Like, okay. Okay, because this guy is like a TV dad. Yes. He, he keeps making me feel like he's a TV. I see him very thin and very tall. Is where yes. he's bringing me. I also see him with like a widow's peak. Like he has this yes. widow's peak, but it's like curly. And I, he kind of like makes a joke of being like a small little afro that would kind of like be very tight to the head. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, do you understand him with the Greek food? Because he keeps bringing me to Greek food and like uh, Mediterranean food, but he keeps bringing me here. Did he come in with a bad accent about the food? No, he just keeps showing me like Greek food, like the rolled up egg, egg, like, um, nope. yeah, he keeps showing me this. So I want to <laughs> acknowledge this. Now, he also wants to talk about a couple names that I want to um, bring up. Who's Brenda? Because he keeps talking about a bee name and it feels like a female. Um, There's a Brianna, which was okay. a Sweet. All right. And then do you understand the bone cancer with him of them trying yes. something new with him? Because yep. I feel like they would have gone on and like stripped the marrow out of his bones and then tried to infuse it somewhere else. Because I feel like there's displacement. That's it's, exactly what did. Is where That's I'm why it. Oh, man. He's like, a, he's a nonstop talker. Like, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to just cuss because he wants me to just talk the way I want to talk. Okay, so I'm not going to censor myself. Uh, but I don't feel like he would cuss very often, but he just makes, he's like, I'm fucking funny. <laughs> I'm like, okay. He, he cursed with purpose to make you laugh. Yeah, like, he does not make me feel like he'd be, like, one of those people that would talk. He also reminds me a little bit of, like, the energy of feeling of, like, constantly being happy, very happy-go-lucky, almost like Mr. Rogers in, like, this really weird way. And he did not care what people thought of him and he would go out in public and just like he walks like this like i'm just seeing him like walk with his arms like this like he's his shoulders move do you understand this we call him mr rogers literally yeah he's literally and then i also feel like with him uh there's drumming like he keeps showing himself drumming little kids legs on his lap like i keep wanting to take a little kid's legs and go like this do you understand this i do Okay. Now he also makes me feel with him as well that um, do you understand the blue oblong car? When he keeps bringing me to the blue oblong car, I keep seeing this old car with a white top. I'm not sure. I'll take note. Hold on to that because I feel like there's something with the blue car and it's, this would be like a 1970s like Oldsmobile sized vehicle and he keeps bringing me with a white top with the circular windows in the back of it is where he's bringing me. Now I also feel like there's a little bit that I want to say like he was so optimistic up until the time that he had passed and I feel like when he started to realize that he would pass he got very afraid. Do you understand this? Yes. He did. Like his personality fit. And was there a female on his right when he had uh, left when he had passed? Because he is making me feel like when he's laying in this bed, I can see the tube up his nose. It's taped to the side of his face. And there's also like a breathing apparatus that he did not like it on his face. And so we take it off and it's laying right here. Do you understand that? I do. Okay. And now do you understand the, the heavier set female that would be on my left? This would be older. Yes. Okay. Yep. I just want to talk about his breathing and how much that scared somebody. 
it like like looking at him, it looked like he was in pain, but I need to guarantee he wasn't because I just keep wanting to go. <sighs> and then his last breath was a, <sighs> and then he was gone. And I also feel like he would have passed in the afternoon. Do you understand that? Yes. Because he keeps showing me the sunlight coming in here, and he's with his mom. Yes. Is there three brothers or three men that would be his equals? Because he keeps talking about three men. He had three siblings. Okay, because he's talking about the three. Is older brother as well? Or is it like there's an older male on the other side with him that would be a brother? Sister. Okay, because he's talking about this. Is this is this person like masculine? Does this person have like a masculine like take charge energy? Because I need to figure out why he keeps referring to her as a male. Yes, she okay. does. Because it's very like, bah, bah, bah. like she is almost like they make fun of each other in a yep. very unusual way. Yep. Uh, uh, what's with the models? Because he keeps showing me like model cars and model houses and model people. And he's yes. Like, Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Because he keep, he's very intricate, very patient, very steady handed. And he can't go on like when he's doing something, he's got his tongue out a lot. Yes. I to think. What's with the bow and arrow? Because he keeps showing me a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. This is like a tattoo. He keeps showing me a bow and arrow tattoo. Oh, okay. Yeah, his younger brother has okay. a bow and arrow tattoo. Daniel. I just, I'm hearing a D name. Very, very. Danny. Deep. Okay. Do you understand the Tallahassee or the T town? Yes. Okay. And then there's a P as well as it's a male as well. So this would be either a Peter or Paul, but a, definitely a strong P name that would be attached to him. You know, as I'm saying this, were you guys praying to St. Paul? Who was praying to St. Paul? Because they keep bringing me to St. Paul. His mother. Okay. And then uh, a couple other things. Um, Cheetos. He's, he's also bringing me to Cheeto fingers. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then, uh, do you understand him smelling like wood chips? Because he keeps showing me like oak chips, like 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 starting like a little fire, but I keep saying oak chips. And this is like um, not something you'd throw in a stove. This is something you'd lay on the ground as like uh, mulch. But he keeps showing himself smelling like nature. Uh, but this would be very close to like oak chips. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Uh... He sings a lot and it's really weird songs. So yeah. I, it's like yeah. really weird. Yep. Uh, they don't exist. He makes them up. But yes. He's also singing the state song to me. Do you know that song? That Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. <laughs> like he keeps singing the state song at me. When I was younger, I had a difficult time with the states. So he made up a song. I feel like I need to talk to you directly, is what he's making me feel. Uh, this is a lot about beating yourself up, not thinking that you're good enough. Matt? You, you have consent. It's okay. Okay, because he keeps talking about you beating yourself up. And he's like, we've had this talk. <laughs> we've had this talk. How many times do you need to hear it? How many times do you need to hear it? And what's with like the, the he's talking about like putting pressure on yourself with money, 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 money. Yep. yep. He's showing me poker chips, so I'm just gonna <laughs> go with that. Yeah, it makes sense. <sighs> who has who has a hospital bracelet? Um, my mom did. I don't know. No. Okay. Because he's talking about his hospital bracelet. And it just makes me feel really kind of sad for him on like how emaciated he was because he wasn't recognizable at the end. And it really kind of just kind of traumatized some people on just like how frail he looked uh, is how he's making me feel and how tiny he was in the bed. But he was really tall 
Um, because he keeps showing me his bones and like his knees, not then his shins. Like it's just very skeletal, like and how stretched. And he just keeps saying, Don't remember me like that. Remember me the goofy person. Uh, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot to do with his glasses as well. Like yeah. I don't, would he wear his glasses upside down? Yes. <laughs> okay, because he keeps showing me his glasses being upside down, but they're brown and it's really weird. <laughs> Um, and then, like, his nose hair is sticking out the bottom of his nose. And just, like, how funny he was. And that's how he wants to be remembered. And he also wears a shirt with no shirt underneath it. Like, a button-up shirt with no shirt. Yes! yes. Um, and it's just, like, he would tuck his pants in. And he would purposely do things to make people laugh. Because he keeps going, rah, 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 like, at me. And, like, making faces. Yes. Uh, what's really funny is April came up for him. Do you understand the month of April? I sure do. What's the, what the 12? Because he keeps bringing me to the 12, the 12, the 12. Um, April is when he passed. Um, but the 12th, like, my mom passed at like 12.01 a.m. on the 13th. Okay, because I got 12. And they didn't know how, like, which day to pronounce. And that's the okay. only thing I think of. Because my mom passed as well. Do you have a brother? I do. Are you not talking to him? I am not. Okay. Because he's going to get over it. <laughs> <laughs> get over it. Get everyone get, get, get along. And it's your brother that's being stubborn. Yeah, he doesn't agree with what I do. Okay. Because he's like, get over it. It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Time, time's clicking. Time's knocking. Time's, he keeps doing this at me. Jen, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. He he's fully aware. He's fully aware. Uh, what's really funny is he comes across as a paradox to me of somebody that would be really healthy, but kind of abused his body a little bit because he's showing himself smoking cigarettes. It was it was a secret, Matt. Don't tell everybody. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> He would hide them in like boxes yeah. and bottles and like he's yeah. hiding them. <laughs> yep. And he keeps showing me like bottles of like nails and, and screws. And did he have those like up? Because he keeps showing me this like uh, wood thing. And I feel like I'm in somebody's garage. And what? there's nails. And yeah. he's showing me and he's hiding cigarettes in them. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to leave that with you. I, that was his one vice. He's he's so good. He's so good. He's with mom. Uh, he's constantly around. And I feel like uh, he's just, he wants me to let you know how supportive he is of you. Uh, and that he's okay. And please just like, whatever you guys do, just don't remember him the way it was. Because I feel like there's a constant like PTSD. And I feel like it's the old female is how I'm feeling this. And I feel like it did a number on her. She's still alive, correct? No, she passed. Okay, because there's something with her. It did. Okay, because like he's like, gee, it's your heart. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then he's also showing me a pair of like old beat up dress shoes. Like I don't shoes. talk about the shoes, Matt. Don't talk about the shoes. Okay, because these are like I would wear these every day, and I almost would not wear them with socks. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's dope well thank you so much for letting me read for you I really appreciate it Jen thank you Matt you rock I just put on makeup I'm trying to go to my son solo and now I'm like a disaster okay. um, but thank you that was I awesome did. I appreciated it yeah you're welcome they call me the makeup ruiner in, in, in the <laughs> <Jeff> world so <laughs> alright I'm gonna let you boot me out thank you thank Bye, you Matt. Jen.